Hello fellow bloggers. I just thought I'd try something a little different with the remainder of the Botanic Gardens pictures. They had to be the obligatory selfie. <laughs> Except it wasn't the selfie. Mac 2 did take that picture for me. Uh, the flower was open in the major hothouse where all the ginger plants etc were kept. Uh, so there were some wonderful colours to be seen there. Uh, these were all growing on the ground itself which was rather fascinating. It's a type of ginger plant. Throughout the hothouses there were various uh, sculptures to be seen. This one really caught my eye. But when we got into the lily house of course we discovered the carp. There was a beautiful number of carp in the pond there. Threw into the dry hot house and I managed to capture Mac 2 on film. She's a bit shy of it but then so am I. But she did manage to get me back as you can see here. Quite literally back. <laughs> I do quite like the Spanish moss I must say. Outside the spaces are wonderful. It was a beautiful day although a bit warm. And of course I thought of deer goose when I saw this. There's lots of meadow lands. These are, uh, there's a whole meadow of wildflowers which was just stunning. Lots of bees enjoying that. And up the top of the hill there's a good vista out over the top of Edinburgh. That's one of the, I think that's St Mary's Cathedral that one. And of course we had to have in the gratuitous picture of the Edinburgh Castle. Which is a good angle on it. There's lots of seating uh, um, throughout the park, so one can really enjoy oneself. Spend the whole day there, it would be quite easy. Lots of people were picnicking. This is the wind harp. I was expecting some kind of modern conglomerate thing in an open space, but it's actually in a shady area. No wind, <laughs> but very beautiful wood as you can see. And of course, what botanic gardens worth its salt doesn't have a oriental garden of some description. And of course we enjoyed the Chinese gardens here on the Edinburgh Hill. Very beautiful indeed and the sound of the water was stunning. And then outside of course we're met by these glorious gates. Hope you enjoyed this little last view of the Edinburgh Gardens. Bye!